Today, we're talking about these new thread-based roller shades from SmartWings. And if you're using Apple Home to power your smart home using one of their thread-compatible HomePods, or you have a thread-compatible HomePod that you're using in conjunction with Home Assistant, you can add these thread-based roller shades to your smart home, which can help you automate the boring stuff. Welcome back to Slacker Labs. My name is Jeff. First thing, SmartWings did send these roller shades to me in exchange for my thoughts. And that's what you're going to get, my thoughts and my thoughts alone. But just so there's no confusion, parts of this video were shot two months ago because the release timeline for these shades changed a bit, which is often the case with smart home products. So there may be some continuity issues between some of the footage. But that delay also meant that I got to spend a little more time with the shades. Also, the roller shades I'm using in this video are a pre-production version. And while I'm not aware of any changes between the version I have and the official version, there are slight differences in the setup. I did try to point those out during my video, but if I miss something, just be aware that there could be slight differences. Anyway, let's throw some shades at our smart home. If you haven't heard of SmartWings, they make roller shades and blinds that are custom made for you at the time you order them, at prices that are comparable to some of the off-the-shelf non-custom versions. You get to pick the color, the material, the height, the width of these shades along with some of the other attributes. And you also get to pick what kind of motor these shades have, which means you can get one that's just remote controlled, a Zigbee based motor, a motor that can integrate with the Amazon Echo, and even one that can integrate with HomeKit. Not only that, they've started on a thread-based motor. And like I said in the intro, that's the one I have here. But as of this video, in order to use this thread-based version, you're going to need to have an Apple device capable of being a thread border router. If you want to know more about why that is, check out my previous video I did where I talk about the current state of thread. Anyway, in terms of these specific blinds, the fit and finish and the build quality are both excellent. The ones I have here are blackout vinyl. When you open it, the vinyl does have a new vinyl smell to it, but you either get used to it or it dissipates pretty quickly. Because of the size of these blinds, I wasn't really able to do an unboxing video. But in the box, you get the blinds, as well as some mounting brackets, a remote control, and a USB-C cable for charging. Because these blinds do have an internal rechargeable battery, and it should get you four to six months of use. You do also have the option of getting a solar panel, which could help keep the battery charged. Or if it wasn't too crazy, you could just leave them plugged in all the time. The motor is rated at less than 35 decibels. I don't have the equipment here to actually verify the actual decibels, but I can tell you that you can hear these blinds in the other room, although it's pretty faint. But if you or somebody else in your family spends part of the day as cat furniture, you'll want to be wary of these blinds opening and closing unexpectedly, because the sound is loud enough that it may startle your cat and cause that furniture to bleed. So operate the remote control with caution if you value your relationship with your cat furniture. Installing these blinds is super simple and the mounting brackets allow you to mount these blinds either outside your window frame or inside your window frame. I have an older home with the original double hung windows. So mounting them inside the window frame wasn't an option. Not to mention the window trim above my window posed a bit of a challenge. I solved this by putting a piece of wood up there to give the mounting brackets a little more surface area that was flat. I'll eventually go back and repaint this, but for now you can't see it because of the window shade. And once you have the mounting brackets installed, the window shade just clicks into place. Also, you probably can't really tell, but these brackets have a spring catch that allows you to easily remove these window shades if you need to in the future. After that, I plugged in the shades and was ready to complete the setup. In my case, I needed to program the remote, but in your case, you may not need to program the remote. In my past experience with SmartWings products, the remote sometimes comes already programmed and ready to go. You will need to make sure that the stop points at both open and closed are set before you continue because they will need to be set before you can set up the smart home part. These shades already came with the stop limit set, so I didn't have to set them. I have an Apple HomePod Mini as my current thread border router. And to set these up, you will need the Apple Home app. Just hit the plus sign at the top to add the accessory. Since these are a pre-production version, I don't have a QR code to scan. So I chose more options. These shades showed up in my available accessories. And all I had to do was enter the code. 
Because these are a pre-production version, they haven't been certified yet by Apple. And in your official version, you won't see this message. After that, all I had to do was choose the room that these shades are located in and give the shades a cool name like Master Bedroom Shades. And that's it. Now these shades have been added to Apple Home. And if you're using Apple Home as the basis of your smart home, then at this point, you're done. You can use these shades with a voice command, or you can set up an automation. Perhaps something like opening these shades at sunrise and closing them at sunset. This is my first time creating an automation using Apple Home, and I have to say this doesn't feel like a scalable solution. Although I guess for something like sunrise and sunset, it works. Anyway, that's a rant for a different time. Just to prove Thread is active, I opened up my Eve app and head to Thread Network, and you can see the shade is active. It lists the transport as Bluetooth and Thread status as child. From what I've read, this should shift to Thread for the transport after a period of time. And in fact, when I came back to check the following day, it had changed. Now, roll is in device, thread is listed as the transport, and status is still child. But if you're like me, and running Home Assistant, you'll want to get these into Home Assistant. Back when I recorded this next part, the Home Assistant Sky Connect didn't have thread enabled yet. And the Apple HomePod Mini that I have wasn't on thread version 1.3 yet. In fact, as of April 2023, I still don't know if the Apple HomePod Mini has been upgraded to version 1.3 or later. All of that to say, I haven't got these roller shades connected directly to Home Assistant using Thread yet, but I hope to be able to do that soon. But since these Thread-based shades are a HomeKit device, we can leverage the HomeKit integration to get these into Home Assistant. Once a device is discovered by Home Assistant, we can click this Configure button but we get this message that it's already paired to another device. I'm pretty sure this is a HomeKit thing. And based on my understanding of how Thread will work once Thread 1.3 has made it to our border routers, we should be able to leverage Matter's multi-admin to control this device both from Home Assistant and Apple Home. But we're not quite there yet. So in order to pair this with Home Assistant, we need to remove it from Apple Home. So click Close, which will dismiss this little box. Jump in your Apple Home app and remove the device. And once it's removed, the device will be discovered again in your integrations panel. Now, when we click that configure button, we'll be prompted for the HomeKit pairing code. This is the one on the little QR code of the HomeKit devices. And for Home Assistant and HomeKit devices, it does want the code to be in the formal pattern with the dashes. Then we click submit and success. Now we can provide an area. These are in my master bedroom, as we've already discussed. Then we can click Finish, and here is the device. And for the smart wing shades, we get cover control, battery level, and a couple of sensors that provide the thread capabilities, minimal in device, and thread status. If we click into the cover entity, we get a slider to open or close to a specific position. Before I set off to automate these, I update the name to something more human friendly. After that, I added it to a couple of my automations. Roller Shades and Smart Blinds are cover entities inside of Home Assistant, so you'll want to use the cover.open or the cover.close service when opening and closing these via an automation. And that's it. We've added our first thread-based roller shades to Home Assistant. We did have to go through the Apple Home to get there, but now they're at least in Home Assistant and automated. Like I said earlier, I've been using these shades for a couple of months now, and so far, they've worked flawlessly. With one exception. If you saw my video on the state of Thread, I mentioned you didn't want to run Thread border routers from different companies, because everyone is using a different implementation of Thread. But I tend to be someone that is not afraid to F around and find out, especially when it comes to my smart home tech. So I turned on the thread network inside of my Aero network routers just to see what would happen. The hope was that I could see the version of thread that was running inside of those arrows and to see if it could join my Apple thread based network. It was only on for about 10 seconds before I realized that I couldn't see what version of thread those arrows were running and I couldn't see my Apple thread network. But that 10 seconds was all it took to travel from F around to find out. And what happened was these blinds went unavailable inside of Home Assistant. 
and they didn't come back like I hoped after I disabled the thread network on my Arrow routers. I had to remove the device from Home Assistant and then walk back through all of those steps we just went through on how to set these up inside of Home Assistant. Now, just to be clear, I don't think this is an issue with the SmartWings product. I think this is a thread issue. What I don't know is whether this issue is related to how we added them to Home Assistant or because I turned on that thread network with my arrows. I'm leaning to the latter, but I don't have enough data to disprove the former. And I haven't turned on that thread network inside of my arrows again just to see if the same thing would happen. So until I have more data points, I'm going to say it could be either or both. So just keep that in mind, especially if you have more than one device that's capable of being a thread border router. I do also have the Zigbee based roller shades from SmartWings, and they work well with both ZHA and Zigbee to MQTT. So if any of the thread based stuff bothers you, you could always order the Zigbee motor. I've seen some comments online about these thread based roller shades where individuals have reported having the device go unavailable or just stop responding inside of Home Assistant. And other than what we just talked about, that hasn't been my experience. I have moved them around so that I could directly automate them using Apple Home and directly automate them using Home Assistant. And every time those automations triggered, the shades either opened or closed. Other than that, the only other issue I could see potentially with these shades is the smell. I got the vinyl shades, and they do have a pretty strong vinyl-y smell when they're unboxed. However, I only noticed it for a couple of days. So if you think that's something that might bother you, you could always unbox them and let them sit out somewhere until you hang them, especially if you're planning on adding them to a bedroom. You can grab these thread-based roller shades today. I've included a link to them in the description of this video. Prices vary based on what options you choose, but I think they're priced well, especially compared to some of the less customizable options out there. These are made to order, so if you have a weird window size, they should be able to accommodate you. As mentioned already, they do currently require an Apple thread-based border router, but hopefully once everyone gets to thread 1.3, we can leverage that promised Matter cross-platform compatibility and use these with any thread-based network. And of course, in the meantime, you could always leverage the HomeKit integration inside of Home Assistant. And as soon as I'm able to get these roller shades connected to Home Assistant directly using Thread or using Matter's multi-admin capability, I'll do a follow-up video. There is a discount code in the description of this video, as well as a pinned comment which can save you some money if you're interested in picking up some of these thread-based roller shades. A massive thanks to SmartWings for sending this product to me so I could share it with you. And again, if you're not interested in thread, be sure to check out the Zigbee-based motor that SmartWings offers. I did a review of it on the video right here. And now, all that's left to do is for us to go automate the boring stuff. Music